This is my brain, and inside it, there is no video ideas. So I asked you guys for your ideas, and some of them were pretty good, but also some of them were very stupid. For example, Sniffy11 says, build a big potato. Okay. Okay, this is my giant potato, and it's even got a potato farm inside it. Wait a second, it's actually pretty cool. So let's build some more of your stupid ideas. And at the end of the video, I'll choose my favorite idea, and they'll win $100 and a custom rank on my Discord server. Okay, so Adil Khan says, make a wireless teleporter. I think we can do that. So for this, we're going to need some water, some kelp any type of trapdoor, some ender pearls, and most importantly, a daylight sensor. So to build it, we just dig a hole, put some water at the top, place a bunch of kelp, trapdoor, that is wrong, like that, and a daylight sensor. Then we just put a pearl in here, and we forgot about the soul sand. Now we just throw the pearl, then when it goes night, we should be instantly teleported over there. Let's go. Oh my God, there is a creeper. Well, at least it works. But what happens if you don't want to wait until it's nighttime? Well, don't worry because I've wow. got a solution to that too. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the target block. So if we come up here, we should easily be able to teleport down there. Let's go. First try. <laughs> this next idea is actually a really good idea. Lockdown Life says build a computer in Minecraft so you can use today's video sponsor, Opera GX. Well, here we are. With Opera GX, customizing your browser is as easy as building in Minecraft. And with GX mods, you can do so much. Want a pixelated browser like Minecraft? Use the Blockified mod and flip it on or off like a lever in Minecraft. Change keyboard sounds, themes, colors, and even tabs sounds. There's also cool background music for that gaming vibe. But Opera GX isn't just all about looks. The GX control feature lets you limit your CPU or RAM usage, reducing lag and FPS drops. Oh, and it's also way nicer to my PC than other browsers. Switching to Opera GX is quicker than teleporting with an ender pearl. With the quick import tool, it's easy to import your settings from your previous browsers. And for you guys, see my latest videos in your GX corner. To get this feature, just download the browser from my link in the description. Big thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video and click the link below to start customizing your browsing experience. Anyways, this next comment might be a contender for best comment because Kimberly says to build a big capybara. And here's some pictures of capybaras if you don't know what they look like. They're basically the coolest animals to walk the earth. And now thanks to Kimberly, we get to build it in Minecraft. All right, and to build it, we're gonna need some brown terracotta and also some light gray terracotta. And whilst I was mining up all this terracotta, Terracotta. I was reading through some of your comments and I actually can't wait to build some of your suggestions. All right, this should be a nice spot for our capybara. Okay, and whilst I build this capybara, it's time for some capybara facts. Did you know a capybara was once spotted using an alligator for a mode of transport? All right, that's the brown part of his legs. Okay, now we move on to this color. Oh, and did you know that the capybara has its own theme song? Let me go out one for his body. Oh, and a capybara was once seen taking on an entire pride of lions and killing them all. Okay, so that's how tall it's gonna be. Okay, yeah, I was lying about that last one, but capybaras are really cool. Capybara, 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 capybara. And now time for the head. And our capybara is complete. Capybara. Capybara, 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 capybara. Wow, that was actually a really good build suggestion. I wonder what the next one is. Okay, so player two says, how long does it take to grow a strawberry? It's not even a build. What the... Okay, so Jonah says to build Among Us, and Hansel says to build a sus build. So actually, we can take off both of them at the same time. All we need is some red and black concrete powder. Then we just click these switches, head through here, and convert all this concrete powder into concrete. I hope this classifies as a sus build. I mean, I don't think you can get anything more sus than a red Among Us player. And for those of you who don't know what Among Us is, it's basically this game where you have to vote out the imposter. And it's the imposter's job to go around the spaceship and kill as many crewmates as possible. Oh yeah, this is looking really sus already. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, red is definitely the most sus Among Us color. All right, and here's his sus little backpack. Then across here is where his goggles will go. Fill all this bit in with red, then fill in his goggles. 
And there we go. That is something very sus. So the next comment is from Dryest Apollo, and he says, build a netherite beacon. Yeah, this might be the dumbest comment so far, but let me explain why. You see, for a netherite beacon, you need 164 blocks of netherite. But when you take into account that that's 1,476 netherite ingots, and to get them, you need 5,904 ancient debris and also 594 gold ingots. Now, hopefully, you can see just how dumb this is, but let's give it a try. Okay, so to have any chance of this, we need TNT and we need lots of it. So let's grab all the sand we've got and let's combine it with the thousands of gunpowder from our creeper farm. Okay, so we've now got three shulkers of TNT, but we need to find a good place to mine for ancient debris. Okay, this warped forest biome looks good. Now let's dig down to Y level 15. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to press F3 and G so we can see the chunk borders. All right, and we want to mine it in a straight line along these chunk borders. Okay, now it's time to start placing our TNT and we'll place it in a nice little pattern like this for the optimum explosion. All of this to try and get ourselves a netherite beacon. This is definitely a dumb idea. Okay, here we are. We have nowhere to run. Let's light this TNT. Come on, ancient debris. None so far. Oh, yes. Let's go. Oh, we missed some up here as well. Yoink. Yes, what are the chances of that? Give me netherite. Oh, thanks. Give me more netherite. Not lava. TNT. Come on. Yes. How is there lava everywhere? Ow. Oh my god. How is there more lava there? Ooh, I'll take this. I swear to god if there's lava. Literally couldn't make it up. Ah, oh, more lava. All right, I'll give up. We've literally only managed to get 23 ancient debris. All right, I guess we're just going to have to come back to this comment later. So, Penguinotto wants me to build a giant tree. I think I've got an idea that will make this one a lot easier. Step one, simply chop down a giant tree. Step two, wait a second. Step three, collect the saplings. And finally, step four, plant the saplings and bone meal them. Oh wait, that tree's not really giant. Hold on. Okay, let's try this again. And giant tree. There we go. That's more like it. Also, whilst I was waiting, these chickens laid four eggs. So as I said in the intro, my favorite comment wins $100. But I'll double it to $200 if one of these eggs turns into a chicken. Here we go. And I have to double it. Great. And speaking of the prize, these guys might be winning it. Because Ethan says to build a super large toilet. And Alex says to build a poo with a toilet in it. All right, yeah, these are definitely some of the weirdest slash dumbest comments so far. But that's why they might be my favorite. So for this, we're going to need a bunch of white concrete, some water for the toilet water, and a nice location to build it. Ooh, a capybara. That's nice. Um, I guess we'll build it here. Oh my god, this is gonna be such a weird build. Let's get some space, because this is gonna be a super large toilet. So first, we're gonna build the toilet. Okay, so we'll start with a big base. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll build this up a bit. Right, come on. Now we'll start making it a bit wider. Yeah, this is looking good. And another layer wider. And this bit will actually be the seat, so we can make it even wider. And at the back, we can have a big wall. I think this is what a toilet looks like. All right, now we can add our toilet water. Can it? Oh no, I just got rid of my water source. I kind of want to fill all this area up with water. Then we can break the parts that we're missing again. All right, and that's our toilet water. Then we can add the lid on here. Then if we make use of some slabs, we can build ourselves a nice handle. Wow, that actually looks really good, but we should probably move it across one more. Perfect. And now I want to make that handle actually work. It doesn't say to in the comments, but I think it'll be cool. So for this, we'll need some dispensers, which we will place here and here. We need to place a real button on this flusher. And then we need to use redstone torches to rig this up with the dispensers. So when we press the button, does that torch go off? No. Like that. Yes. Then we'll add redstone dust on here. So this is me trying to wire up the toilet so it will actually flush. And I finally got it to work. 
Now we just need to fix the back of this toilet. Oh my god, what have I done to it? So I managed to make the back of the toilet look half decent, and now it's time to do the poo. Alright, and for this, we'll use the brown terracotta we've got left over from building the capybara. Why does he look like he's kind of watching me? Anyways, it's poo time. How are we going to make this big enough? I kind of like this idea because it's like the opposite of what you'd expect. Because to be honest, you'd expect the poo to be in the toilet, not the other way around. Oh, it works so well. Okay, so we've now got our poo and we've also got our toilet inside. Yeah, this is definitely the weirdest idea so far. But this next idea is definitely gonna have to be one of the fastest. Because right now my editor is editing some footage, but he's about to run out. So we need to get this section to him as soon as possible. And NatoCraft says, make a lockdown life statue with gold blocks. All right, we can do this. We just need to be fast. Come on, nether portal, load. All right, we need to fly over to our gold farm to get all the gold. All right, come on, die pigs, die. Come on. I think we've nearly got enough. Let's go check. No, that's not going to be enough. Oh my God. Quick. All right, we're going to have to AFK here for about five minutes. All right, we now should definitely have enough gold. So let's get crafting it and making this statue as fast as possible. All right, craft gold. Gold blocks. Yes. Oh my God, I can mine. All right. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, go across. Connect all these up. All right, now we can build the middle section out of gold. All right, this way will be my face. Will it? No, the other way will be my face. Build these sides up. Here's the top of my head. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I've made it the wrong size. Oh, this is going to add on so much time. How could I get my own head size wrong? Okay, and this bit will be my mouth. And then up here. My eyes. Okay, and stop the timer. We're done. That is a gold statue of me. And whilst I'm getting this footage to my editor, let's do the next idea. And this might be the dumbest idea for me to build because Minecraft Boy says to build my house in real life. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm kind of worried that you guys could work out where I live from this, but let's do it anyway. I am about to move into a house, but right now I'm still living at my childhood home, so we'll just build that. And for it, we're gonna need lots of clay to make lots of bricks. I actually don't think I've ever crafted bricks in Minecraft. Crafts, or at least not for a while. Okay, so I found out that we need to get clay balls from these clay blocks, but my shovel is silk touch, so we don't get the balls. So if we chuck mending onto this Fortune 3 shovel, we can now mine these blocks and get the balls. And we're gonna have to do this a lot of times. Right, put some furnaces, add some charcoal, come on, get the clay, come on, yes, and we are making bricks. All right, so all the bricks are finished and we have crafted them up. I think we'll build it somewhere around here. Yeah, maybe here, but it needs to be a little bit more flat. Perfect, now we'll start with the floor plan. All right, so this is the floor plan. Now let's get in decorating the rooms. All right, this is the entrance hall and it's got wooden floors. Then in the lounge is also wooden floors. Here is the front window of the house and here's the couch and one more here. Then we've got our TV here. This room here is like the dining room and this big room here is the kitchen. These are the worktops. The floor in here is actually some sort of stone thing, I think. So I guess we'll just leave it as stone. And this room over here is where the fridge is. Well, that's not very good fridge. Nice. Okay, now we just decorate the rest and then we'll go upstairs. Come on, lots of brick. There is no grass inside the house. Over here is actually like a conservatory, so it's all made out of glass. Okay, this is the layout upstairs and actually everywhere upstairs has carpet. So it's not this color, but I guess it'll do. All right, and now we'll do the bedrooms. So this one is my mom's room. Uh, I don't think she has a bed like that, but it'll do. <laughs> this room over here is Gamer's bedroom, and it's where he made all the videos on his channel. And this one here is my bedroom, the birthplace of this channel, and exactly where I'm making this video right now. Please don't find me. And now all it's missing is a roof. So let me just use my setup to read the next comment. Giga says, ask AI how to build a cow eating a potato and tomato. Okay. 
Wow, it actually has a response for that. Okay, step one, it says, the cow is going to be the biggest part of your sculpture. Minecraft cows are typically six blocks long and three blocks wide and 3.5 blocks tall. All right, but what am I actually going to need? Apparently, it says I need mostly white and black wool or concrete for the cow's body. Okay, I think we should have this in here. All right, I've got the materials, but what do I actually do with them? First, lay out the base of the cow with white and black blocks. All right, what's next? Build up the sides and back of the cow, keeping the same pattern. Here's the side of the cow. Building a massive cow because a comment told me to use AI to build a cow in Minecraft. Pretty normal thing to do. All right, that's done. What's next? For the head, give it a more rectangular shape and add a pair of ears using the same material. Okay. It didn't say where to put the head, so I guess we'll just put it where we would think. I'm going to give it quite a fat head so we can fit the mouth on it. All right, apparently we're meant to use item frames for eyes like this. Oh, he only has one eye. There we go. Wow, they are beautiful eyes. Now it says, make an open mouth with pink wool where you'll place the food later. Okay, how are we going to make an open mouth out of this? Oh my god, this is going to look so cursed. It's okay though, because AI says to do this. All right, we'll use pink concrete inside. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the dumbest things so far. All right, I'd say it's looking pretty good. Uh, let's add a potato. For the potato, you can use brown wool or concrete. Place the potato in the cow's mouth and make it look like it's half eaten by removing some of the blocks. Okay. All right, here's the potato. I don't know how we're going to make it detailed by fitting it in here. Okay, and it says to remove some of the blocks to make it look half eaten. So I guess we'll just get rid of this one. Wow, what an amazing potato. But it's not done because we got to build a tomato as well. A tomato can be represented by red wool or concrete. Place the tomato next to the potato in the cow's mouth. And finally, it says we can add detail by scattering some crumbs around, which can be represented by small bits of potato and tomato. Okay, I don't really know how to do smaller than one block, but I guess we can just... And there we go. We have a cow eating a tomato and potato. This could maybe win the prize because it's definitely Definitely one of my favorite comments so far. I mean, look how cursed it is. <laughs> Wait a second, I just got a terrifying message. My editor just said that he's flying to the UK tomorrow, so I need to get the rest of this video to him as fast as possible. Otherwise, this video won't come out for a while. So quick, let's do the next comment. Gamebro says, build a machine that detonates itself after use. Okay, we can do that. Oh, I don't have my elytra on. All right, we should be able to do this pretty easily. All we need to do is put a dispenser down, put a golden carrot in it, then put a button on top of it, then put a pressure plate over here, then dig down here quickly, place one block of TNT, place dirt and a pressure plate, and then one piece of dirt there, and easy. Next up, Teacher Azlina says egg. I can only assume that means find an egg. So I guess let's go on an egg hunt. Do, do, do. Where are you, egg? I know there are a lot of chickens around here. Yes! Oh my god, that was so fast. Take that. All right, next up, Hamaliosha wants me to build a giant Minecraft sign, and apparently I can write on it whatever I want. Okay. First, we need to see what an actual sign looks like. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I say we do one pixel equals one block. So, we are going to need a lot of wood, and there's only one place to get that. All right, that's all the wood, and we will place our model sign here. So, the stem is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 blocks tall. And we'll build it out of logs. Now the plan is to build these darker lines out of logs and build these thicker pale lines out of planks. And done. And now we'll use black concrete to write whatever we want on it. Yeah, you guys should definitely listen to the sign. And whilst you're doing that, let's move on to the next idea. So, Termit says build an upside down farm with upside down cows and pigs. All right, this is going to be difficult. Let's start with the easy bit, which is going to be some dirt and also some fences. Wait a second, that's actually going to be a problem. How are we going to get the grass to go upside down? Oh, actually, I think I've got an idea to make this work. We might be able to use moss. All right, so we'll do two layers of dirt here and then we could put a layer of moss under here to act as the grass all right so now we've got this upside down piece of land but to make it a farm we need cows and pigs like the comments said nope we don't need one of these guys but i'll tell you what i'll double the price again to 400 dollars if this egg gives us a chicken please please no please oh thank god i did not want that to happen again all right we found some cows yoink you are coming with me, sir. And you are coming with me. This way, Mr. Cow. Not a All right, now we need to somehow get these guys to stand upside down on that grass. Yeah, 
That's gonna be easy. Bruh. So my plan here is to put these cows in a hole for now. Get in the hole, guys. Come on, into the hole. Then actually, we're gonna need to destroy this to do a bit of a test. Okay, right, that cow can go there. So I think that fence needs to go one down. That wow. cow is definitely gonna die. <laughs> Look how fast he's going. Um, is there any way I can save this guy? <laughs> okay, but the test was successful. This will all make sense in a second, guys. So we'll put one here, one here. And then we'll add upside down fences all the way along here. Like a farm, but upside down. We can get rid of this. Make that all look nice. Okay, now we're going to rename all these name tags to Dinner Bone. And what this should do is... Make the mob upside down, which is actually really useful for us. So now the plan is to come over here and attach this guy to the fence. Oh my god. I didn't mean for him to hit that. Okay. And then we should just be able to place the moss back Ava, like that. And now he is standing upside down on the farm. So now we just need to get another cow and two more pigs. This actually looks so cool. Let's get the rest of the mobs. Hello, piggy. So dinner bone. And I think that'll do. We could just fill this in. And we have an upside down farm. That was really cool, but time is running out now. And we've still got one comment to finish off. The netherite beacon. This build is going to be insanely hard to do, but let's gear up and grab all the TNT we've got. So I threw myself into the netherite mines, aiming for what seemed like an impossible goal. Lava was everywhere, but so was ancient debris. It just kept coming, and at one point, I even went crazy. Nether right, nether right, nether right. But after being in there for what felt like days, I returned with enough netherite to make four netherite blocks. But although I didn't complete that idea, it is time to name my favorite idea and the winner of $200. And the winner of my favorite idea goes to the capybara. Capybara. Capybara, 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 capybara. 